Is something wrong with Aaron Rodgers? What's going on, yo, Five Sports Talk? Back at it with another video talking some NFL. So everybody wants to know what's wrong with Aaron Rodgers. What's wrong with the Packers? They're off to a one and one start. Aaron Rodgers is off to the worst statistical start to start a season in his career. He's thrown below 250 yards in both games. He only has three touchdowns to one interception. Um, and the Packers are obviously one and one. Let me repeat that. Three touchdowns to one interception. He's ran for two scores as well. That's considered uh, a bad start for Aaron Rodgers. Here's the thing. okay? Aaron Rodgers has set the bar so high for himself that if he does not throw for four touchdowns, no picks, 250 to 300 yards every game, it is considered a bad game for Aaron Rodgers. Let me give you guys some quick numbers here uh, so you guys know what the standard for Aaron Rodgers is. Best passer rating in a career in NFL history tops Aaron Rodgers. Best pass rating in and a single season in NFL history, 122.5 Aaron Rodgers. Best touchdown to interception ratio in NFL history, uh, 3.98 to 1, almost 4 touchdowns to 1 pick. And the lowest interception percentage in NFL history at 1.6%. So that is the standard. And then last year was considered a down year for Aaron Rodgers. Do you know how many touchdowns he threw? 31. Do you know how many interceptions he threw? 8. That is would be a better than a career year for approximately 90% of the league's quarterbacks. That's the standard we're talking about with Aaron Rodgers, okay? So here's what it comes down to. Has Aaron Rodgers played his absolute best from, I would say, the back end of last season to up until the first two games this year? No, obviously not because we've seen him at his best and he is much better than this. But does Mike McCarthy need to improve his play calling? Yeah. Do the receivers need to do a better job of getting open? Yeah. So, point I'm trying to make is, it's it's more of an organizational problem than it is just Aaron Rodgers. The best analogy I can use here is, Green Bay is treating Aaron Rodgers like Philadelphia did Allen Iverson in his prime. So, Allen Iverson did not have very good teammates around him. They didn't do a good job of supporting him, and they basically just told AI to go and do his thing, and hopefully they'll win the game. That's essentially what um, Green Bay is doing with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is so supremely talented, so gifted, and just raw, ta pure talent that he can win a lot of these games if Green Bay just says, here, here's the ball, go out, improvise, win the game for us. 80% of the time, he does it. It's that 20% of the time, he doesn't. And that's what people notice when he's playing defenses like you know Carolina, Denver, Arizona, all these tough defenses. Mike McCarthy and the entire coaching staff need to do a better job of simplifying the offense so that way it puts Aaron Rodgers in a much better position to succeed. You know, when you're playing a tough defense, get the ball out quicker. It There just does not feel like there's a structural flow to what Green Bay's offense is. You know, it's really just, you know, Aaron Rodgers improvising a lot of times and that's, that's what so, sometimes helps. And sometimes he succeeds, and a lot of times, well, against the tough defenses, he gets in trouble. So Aaron Rodgers needs help in that aspect. And don't get me wrong, Mike McCarthy is a great head coach, but he gave up play calling duties last year, and this year he's got him back. So it's just kind of that disconnect. So in the end, what this all comes down to is it's just a Green Bay organizational problem more than it is just an Aaron Rodgers problem. Do I think he's going to bounce back? Absolutely. This is Aaron Rodgers we're talking about here. Um, I, I fully expect him to do that. Now, again, the coaching staff will have to make some changes here, but that is just what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Do, what is wrong with Aaron Rodgers in your opinion? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.